Oftentimes, when you're creating clumps procedurally in Ornatrix, you may need to define further clumps that are finer than the original ones. So in essence, you want to, to clump existing clumps. In Ornatrix, we call this feature subclumping, and it can be relatively easily done with multiple clump operators. So I have this initial aux clump modifier, which I added here, and I have pre-generated 50 clumps on my character's hair. Now what I want is I want to create smaller clumps within the bigger ones without changing the overall clump structure. So what I can do is I can go and I can add another aux clump operator that's on top of this. And in this one, uh, it copies the properties of my previous clump. But I want to have many more clumps than this and I want them to be within the original ones. So first thing I'll do is I go to the original clump operator that's below my new newly created modifier and I'm going to check this option which says add clump index channel. What this does is it creates a separate per strand channel where it specifies the index of the clump for each of the created strands. This is important because it's needed for this subsequent clump operator to make sure that it does not clump hairs that are between two separate clumps from the original modifier. So in here I need to find the regions group over here and next to the region map we have the assign channel button. In this assign channel button I select my clump IDs per root channel and I click the assign button and now it will make sure to take into account the underlying clumps from the first operator. Next I will scroll down and we need to set many more clumps than the original count. So if we had 50 at first let's create like 200 clumps. This will make sure that on average that each of the clumps over here will have four sub clumps. Uh, so I'm going to set clump, uh, clump count to 200 and press create. And when I press create, you can see that if I just turn this modifier on and off, you can see that within my larger clumps, it created smaller sub clumps. In fact, maybe 200 is even too few. So let's create 500 sub clumps. Press create. And you, you can see again that it created those clumps within the original ones without crossing the borders of the individual clumps. I can play with this curve to see how much clumping I need within the subclumps. So for example, if I want them to be really, really bunched up together, I can increase this amount over here. And then I can go to my original large clump modifier, scroll down and play with the amount curve here to control the size and the shape of the bigger clumps. You can have many more subclumps, so within the smaller ones, you can have even smaller ones by again continually adding that uh, index channel and making sure that you reference it in the subsequent clump operators.